Greetings fellow humans and welcome. So last week, last week, last week, someone DM me on Instagram to ask about how I styled my hair into vintage styles when it was so short. And I thought the easiest way to answer that question would be to make a video. I'm gonna be going over three different looks. Some are a bit more involved, some are a bit more chill, but this is how I do it. So let's start with an Edwardian look. For this, I needed a comb, bobby pins, a hair tie, hairspray, and a messy little bun hairpiece thing that works the same way that a hair tie does. I basically back combed the hair on the top of my head, smoothed it over with my hands while spraying it with hairspray, and pinned that into place. I then followed the same steps on the side to create a little roll of hair there. Strong look, I know. Back combing it to create volume, smoothing it over and pinning it into place, and spraying the bejesus out of it. This is a very crunchy hairstyle, by the way. I made a little baby roll on the other side, and then turned my attention to making a bump on the crown of my head. Again, more back combing, more smoothing, more pinning, and infinitely more hairspray. It turned out a little bit messier than I wanted it to be, but sometimes hair just is uncooperative. So the next thing I do is take a hair tie and gather all the hair I can at the back of my head into it, which is admittedly not much because I do have very short hair, and then use the smooth down and spray system as well as a buttload of pins to direct my unpinned hair towards the hair tie to make it look more like my hair is actually tied back. I then took my bun hair piece and wrapped it around the teeny tiny ponytail I'd made. I noticed a few errant hairs that needed taming, and then that was my Edwardian look done. Next is a 1920s, early 1930s look with finger waves. Everything I know about how to do finger waves I learned from black women on YouTube, so I will link those videos in the description below, and I highly recommend you check them out and go and subscribe to their channels. So I started with wet hair, and I grabbed two combs, my bobby pins, and some hair gel. Work some through my hair, then I parted my hair and combed it out. You basically want to comb your hair into C shapes, alternating directions, and then pin it in place if you need to. For me, using a combination of combs and my fingers works best, but it does take a bit of practice, and as my hair changes length, I need to change up my technique a little bit to make it work. Finger waves were made famous in the 1920s, but to be honest, the coolest icon who rocked them was Josephine Baker. She was a black performer, entertainer, civil rights activist, and French resistance agent. She actually had her own line of beauty products, including a hair gel called Baker Fix, and the tub had little teeny tiny illustrations of her in her iconic banana dress. Finger waves came back into fashion in the 90s thanks to hip hop artists like Missy Elliott, and then more than a decade later, I think Marc Jacobs sent models in one of his fashion shows down the runway in them and it blew up again as an exciting, interesting hairstyle to have. Anyway, I gently dried my hair on a low, cool setting, and if Josephine Baker is your inspo, then this is where you stop because then you keep the shine, but I think my hair looks better if I scrunch out the gel cast and bring back some of its volume. So for the next one, I started on damp hair again and worked some curl activating cream throughout my hair. I'm gonna categorize this under a sort of 40s to 50s look because which decade the style is reminiscent of will kind of depend on the directions you set your curls. You can look up different curl set patterns for different looks pretty easily, but I will put a link in the description to my hair inspiration Pinterest board. So I parted and combed my hair and then started creating finger curls. I basically do this by placing my finger maybe an inch from my scalp and wrapping the majority of my hair around it before twisting the curl I created down to the root and pinning it in place. You can also use foam rollers for this but I find they dry out the ends of my hair and I don't use other methods of curling because my hair really doesn't like heat, it just makes it really frizzy. Now I leave the sides be, but I pin curl the whole of the top of my head and let it dry naturally, which because I have thick hair can take quite a while, but after it's dry I'll take out all the bobby pins, double check to make sure they are all actually out, and grab my hairbrush, and just start brushing. And just keep brushing until it's at a point that I'm happy with. I will sometimes go in and form specific waves or curls with my fingers, but I basically just keep messing with it until it's done. So 
there you go. Three vintage styles on short hair, one of which is lying about having short hair. I really wanted to make sure that I did this video before I changed my hair again because I can be quite impulsive about that. So I thought it would be best to do this as soon as possible and get back to my planned sewing projects next week. I, um, I did my nails, I put on fake nails, I did the whole nail form thingies and everything and I feel so fancy but I cannot type Anyone who has nails this long or longer on a regular basis, you have my utmost respect for the skills you have acquired to be able to do this because I lack, I lack them. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you'd like to see what else I get up to and you wanna stick around, then subscribe to my channel. Fingers crossed you had a nice time on this one, but I hope everything is okay in your world and I'll see you guys next time. Try again, just for the good measures, maybe. Yes, ooh. Dime, what is it? It's an illusion, but a very persistent one. So red. This lipstick colour is called Deep Chestnut. It looked a lot more brown on the internet. I like it a lot, but it's not what I expected. Ain't that just the way? See you later, folks.